Hey, what's going on folks? Ryan here with Wholesale Universe. Hope you're all having a great day. Probably see this whole crazy mess of boxes right beside me. And uh, that's, we just unloaded a pallet. We're actually going to use these boxes to ship products right back into Amazon. So it goes both ways. I'd recommend that you do the same thing. What I want to talk to you about in this video though is about Amazon price alerts. And we've already talked about this before. You can see this, the rest of this in the section above. And I say the section above because this video is also going to be added to our Amazon training guide, um, which if you're not enrolled in, like I said, go to that. Uh, there's a link above in the description above or below for that Amazon training guide that you should go to. Um, Am uh, Amazon price alerts. They don't always happen, but when they do, like I said, we've talked about it before, but Amazon has added other things since then, since the last time that I've made a training video. They, they have the maximum price, they have the minimum price, they have, I think there's a business price inside of there as well, and then they've got your price of what you have, all right? What I, we would, re we used to recommend going and adding the maximum price. Then we had recommended adding the maximum and the minimum price. I've recently started seeing uh, low price alerts on Amazon, not just high price alerts, which is why we're talking about just Amazon price alerts in general, all right? So it used to be the high price alerts that we were dealing with, now I've seen low price alerts where Amazon wants that price a little bit higher. Um, obviously, they, they want to make more on fees. They don't want that price too low. Obviously, it, it can also, I've seen it where it can be priced too low to where you're actually losing money uh, and it makes no sense for either you or Amazon. So Amazon's got a low price alert. They've got a high price alert. However, now Kevin and the rest of my team have been telling me that it, it just works just as best if you get a price alert to go back in there and make sure that the max price alert is set. And these are easy fixes, okay? These are super easy fixes. You're asking about a price alert, literally go back to your account. They're gonna happen sometimes when Amazon doesn't register what the full retail price of an item is. Maybe they don't have another item inside of there to register it as. Maybe somebody already has that item listed and has it too low of a price or a really low price, and so Amazon doesn't understand why you're selling it at that high of a price. You just have to go in there and make sure that the high price is marked, which the high price or the maximum price should be the retail price, the retail value of that item. Now, we've seen some people taking it over that, especially some people like selling, we've seen Adidas shoes and Nike shoes that we've put in that people have, uh, they're selling a, a over full retail price. If you do that, you're gonna have to have a higher maximum price inside of there. But making sure that you go back to your price alerts area within Amazon and marking that maximum price as the full retail price. If you do that and click on reactivate, it should happen almost immediately or as Amazon says, usually takes about 15 minutes or less uh, to go through and reactivate those items. If it doesn't, open a manual case with Amazon by going to that help button at the top right hand side of your Amazon seller's account and, uh, and going and forcing Amazon to look at the issue and mark that price back at full retail price or start it at that price that you wanted at. All right, this is exactly how to do it. it it's super simple to go fix price alerts, and I'm highly recommending that you look inside of this training before you ask us or go to YouTube or go anywhere else. I guarantee you these price alerts can be fixed very quickly by you, and uh, I want to put the power back in your hands to be able to go manage your Amazon account and know how to do every single bit of this. So if you have a price alert, go try that out, and then if it still doesn't work, reach out to us and we'll help you out. Talk to you in the next video.